Hey guys, welcome to today's quick tech tip video. Today I'm going to show you how to install the wheel stud kit from Vic Auto Sports. I've already installed three out of the four, but I'm going to show you on the last driver's side wheel here how to do it. It's really simple, really easy, only a couple tools. So let's jump in. So these are the tools you're going to need to complete this job. If you have an impact, it makes the job so much faster, but you can do it by hand. You'll also need a 19 millimeter socket, a 12 millimeter socket. This is a six millimeter Allen head. You could also have a manual one, but I just have these little attachments that makes it a lot faster. You'll also need some red thread locker, and then you'll need the studs, the lug nuts, and the tool to put these on. And this is all it takes to convert your car from the old school lug bolts like these to the modern studs. So let's go from that to this, and let's jump right in. The first thing we're going to want to do is get the, the car lifted off the ground. Now if you do not have an impact, you'll want to break these loose first before you lift it. But we have the impact so we're going to get it lifted up off the ground uh, right away. So now that we're in the air, we're going to take our 19 millimeter socket and we're going to take out our uh, lug bolts. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is start grabbing your studs. I'm going to leave in the locating pins that helps keep the spacer in place. We're going to take some of our red thread locker. We're going to put it on the short end of the stud. You see there's that silver band in the middle. The short end goes inside the uh, threads here. So the next thing we're going to want to do is go to our 6 millimeter Allen head here. You can do this by hand with the, the little Allen keys, but I like with the impact to really get it down in there and seated and really get that thread locker in there. Okay, now that we've got those in there, we're gonna take our 12 millimeter socket and remove our locating pins. Just like that. And now we're gonna bring our wheel back. So we're gonna reinstall our wheel Get it up here on the studs. Just like that. And start our lug nuts by hand. Okay, and it does come with a special security um, socket. And it does have a 19 on the back. So we're just going to put our 19 back on here. And we're going to get these put in place. Okay, just like that, we're already switched back over, now we can drop it back down. All right guys, and that's all there is to it. In a matter of minutes, you can go from the old school lug bolt pattern and fight it with those studs on the back and go to the modern studs with lug nuts. It's so much easier to deal with to take your wheel off and on if you have to do maintenance in the future. And I'm not really gonna be using these turbo wheels uh, in the future, so I'm not gonna be torquing these down, but you do wanna make sure you torque all the wheels down to spec in that star pattern to make sure they're brought down evenly and completely. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, we'll see ya.